in this video i am going to show you that how can you use flask and mysql together so firstly open vs code just a second this is the app which we have created in our first video so we will modify this one though firstly we will create or uh, we will execute some new sql queries new query and type here use that database which we have created in last video use users db user db colon semicolon we, can, uh, we have to create a table with uh, whose folder structure will be like this we just need a uh, name and age i think these are enough we'll execute this okay so our table is created we have to insert some fields now insert into insert into user that is the table name name and age will be the column values will be the columns and values will be these you can uh, insert two three data simultaneously so these are some data again no db selected comment this out select all run my sql query so i think our data is loaded in our table let's see so let's check whether the data is inserted or not for that we will use select aspect from user db dot user and with semicolon here instruct means selecting all data this will return all data from the users table let's run this mysql query yeah you can see the data which we have inserted alice with the age 30 bob with the age 25 and charlie with the age 20. so what will we do now we will be uh, showing this particular data in our map.py for that here what we'll be doing is firstly importing import mysql dot connector for that you will be firstly needing this particular module now let's install this pip install mysql hyphen connector hyphen python This will be installed in our virtual environment. You can see this successfully installed MySQL connector Python version 9.1.0. Now let's create our DB instance DB equal to MySQL.connector.connect. Brackets open. Host will be our local host. User will be our we will not uh, use this user we will be using that user which we have created in our last video password will be 0101 and databases not this databases user db hit enter and close this brackets now let's create a new route this will be our user route def users oops def users here you can see this we have to create a cursor for this and then cursor will execute the query which we want that is select asterisk from users this will uh, return all this will select all the users 
from our table and what this will do is cursor will fetch all the data and store it in users variable then we will close the cursor and return the string value of users let me see how this will be done okay let's go on this route let's set a users route uh, just a second this is showing table users db dot users does not exist this does not exist because our table name is users i guess user i guess not users so save this program and rerun this yes this is our data alice with the age 30 bob with the age 25 and charlie with the age 20. this is the data which we have inserted earlier so guys that's all for this video hope you have enjoyed this one now let's see you next time